Retirement is harder now than it used to be, says the media. <laughs> Remember, my friends, the media is nothing but propaganda. I don't know what their end result. I mean, look, I think their end game is to have uh, socialized medicine, socialized retirement accounts, um, where you have no control over your retirement portfolio or anything like that. Just the government handles it. Why the uh, the big financial planning firms, your Schwabs of the world, TIA, Kraft, and all that, fund these groups, I don't understand. But, uh, you know, they used to call them useful idiots. And the, the commies would call the left wing in America useful idiots when they advance the cause of communism because uh, they had no clue what they were doing. That, that's the only thing I could think here. These big firms who finance these uh, these statists, these big government statists are useful idiots. They're, they're basically funding their demise. I think as Marx or somebody Lenin or somebody says, uh, we'll we'll sell the the cap to the capitalist the news for which we hang him with. I always thought that was intriguing. Anyway, so let's just this is just so freaking stupid. But uh, uh, L.A. Times Dateline September 29, twenty two. Retirement is a lot harder now, and here's how people are making it by. Ooh, scary. Uh, with the nature of retirement as a reliable reward for a lifetime of work is changing with uncertain times. So let's just go back in the history of humanity. When has there ever actually been a time in history where you rewarded in, for reti with retirement for a lifetime of work? Nah, it hasn't really ever been other than probably the last 40 to 50 years. That's it, man. Probably the last 40 years. And the, 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 the length of humanity the vast majority of people continued to work until they physically could not anymore. This idea that retirement is this reward of a lifetime is a new phenomenon. And it doesn't mean, <laughs> and people always say, well, because we all had pensions. No, 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 no. Silly. People who say that just, they obviously haven't taken any time to do any research whatsoever. It drives me up the wall, but man, keeps me occupied. All right, let's keep going. Uh, for some, the high mortality rate of COVID and the unpredictability of the world gave them resolve to enjoy the years of life they had left. Good job for them. Others, though, flummoxed by the sudden drop of the retirement accounts and the rising cost of necessities, opted to put off retirement or even return to the job market. And here's a guy from ARP. They're, they'll look out for it. Uh, trust them. They'll look out for it. There's more of a worry factor to make sure that they have a significant amount, says this guy. And then we got this study. A quarter of Americans think they'll need to delay their retirement because of inflation, according to a BMO poll, which we'll dive into here in just a second. But I want to focus on this poll right here. A survey of retirees by AARP found that 29%, this is retirees now, are either working currently because of financial necessity or expect they'll have to find work in some form. All right, we're going to dive into that survey because it's incredibly misleading. A survey of retirees by AARP found that 29% of retirees are either currently working or expect they'll have to find work in some form. So hopefully you're seeing why this is uh, counterintuitive. So of those 29% who are currently retired, uh, who are either working currently in retirement or think they have to, how many of, how many people is that? How many of that 29% are actually working? So let's go into this. We'll look at the survey. At least they put a link to that. And we're going to come down here and we're going to look at this and we're going to say, huh, we're going to look at the annotated questionnaire. This is like literally middle school uh, status statistics here. It's really, really bad. But at least they give it. So it gives a general population, a thousand people, age fifty plus. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm fifty two. So they would, I would fall in this population survey of a thousand people. Okay. So of those thousand people, how many are currently retired and not working? Forty seven percent. Hmm. Of those uh, thousand people, how many are currently retired and working? eight <laughs> percent again these are people as as young as 50 years old so 47 percent of the we'll just say for simplicity 50 percent is retired and not working all right so of those people who are retired and not working again the eight percent uh 
do you retired and oh, let's see right here retired and working so be an eight percent of six of a, a poll of 1016 people that's why 80 people man of those 80 people for why are you working 55 percent said for financial reasons 40 percent said for non-financial reasons <laughs> so uh, we have a poll of 1016 80 of those people are retired and working of those 80 55 percent so they're working because of financial reasons we'll just say that's 50 people 50 people out of 1016 polled are retired and working for financial reasons all right uh, a little bit less than half of retired and working are working for non-financial reasons not very scary now is it do you think you will need to work in retirement for financial reasons if you're retired and not working remember retired and not working and you all you have to be is me 52 years old that's 40 percent of the population so we're looking at basically for simplicity 500 people of those <laughs> retired and not working 73 percent said they do not expect they'll have to work in the future Only 25% said they uh, think they think they will need to. So we're going to focus on the 25 and not focus on the 73. Again, we're talking people as young as me. You see how stupid that is? What a stupid freaking that just it's, and that's it. I don't know how what's the average age of these people. No idea. But I love how they say roughly three in ten of retirees age 50 plus are are either already working as only 8% or already working retirement for financial reasons. It's only 55% of the 8% here or expect they will need to do so. That's only 25% of the, of the, uh, 47%. Ay, ay, ay. It's crazy. Of retirees, um, or currently, we already talked about that. Yeah, among retirees who are currently working, 55% so the main reason uh, is out of financial need. It means 45% said it wasn't. So, again, when I see this right here, roughly 3 in 10 of all retirees are either already working or will expect they'll do so. Uh, of all retirees. And again, all retirees was 53%. I mean, yes, there's always going to be some people who are going to have to go back to work. I don't deny that. The vast majority are not those people. So let's see some of these people who, uh, Renee Ward, she runs a nationwide job bank called Seniors for Hire, and she's seen an uptick, um, an uptick in people trying to come out of retirement. What does that mean, an uptick? Three different people? I mean, well, let's put a number on that. They're worried and just want to hedge their bets, yeah, because they've been sold the fear stuff. Uh, and then the, I love this right here too. The labor force of people's ages 75 to older is expected to nearly double because the baby boomers, I mean, expected to nearly double because you have so many more people in that labor force relative to what the, the silent generation is. I, I mean, ah, I, this is so infantile. If you have a generation of a hundred thousand people, and then you have a generation of 200,000 people, the silent generation, 100,000, the baby boom, 200,000. Inherently, that labor force is going to double because there's double the size of the labor force. Ay, ay, ay. All right. And among those age 55 and older, the number of full-time employees was the highest it's been in data dating to 1986. Yeah. Because there's so many more people in the baby boom generation. What's clear is that retirement is no longer simple. Was it ever a simple endpoint? All right, then we got this guy. He's a black guy in Los Angeles. And initially I was like, dude, what the hell? But now I realize what he's saying. He's probably, you know, he, he was probably around the streets a little bit. He's like surprised he, he lived that long. So good on him. He did. He's, he's trying, this guy's trying to help people, man. Um, he's trying to, he plans to spend much of his time mentoring young men, teach them how to fish on his boat and talk to them about how to achieve his goals, as his granddad had done for him. Freaking, this guy crushes. Sadly, though, uh, he's been taken in by the fear mongers because he has a pension and he has lifetime medical coverage. But, but, he wishes he had sought expert financial advice instead of relying on guidance from the city that was lacking in substance and detail. A lot of the things I could have considered are things I didn't think about until uh, really too late. 
Like how much inflation will there be? No one do that. No one knows. How high are prices going to be? Now that actually feeling it and seeing what it's like, retirement is not what I expected. So he's got a pension. He's got health care covered. I assume he has a mortgage, which is why he has to go back to work because he went back to work as a paralegal. I've been doing pretty much. He's, I mean, think about this. And this guy's 62. He's got a pension. I'm certain he's got Social Security and he's got full health care coverage. And yet it's still not enough for him. That tells me he's got debt coming out the wazoo. And that's his fault. He does have a boat. I don't know how much it costs, but you got pension, Social Security, and health care coverage. You still can't make ends meet. That means you're spending too much. No will live around. Uh, this lady says uh, she didn't want to be that person. She wanted to re retire one, one day after years of work. Uh, she'd been working since she was 16. All right, all right. Uh, with a good pension plan and putting 10% of her paycheck into her 401k, she's reached a golden 85, basically 30 years of work and 55 years old or something along those lines. 60 years old and 25 years of work, she'd get the uh, 85. Uh, her husband, uh, so she has a pension. She's been putting 10% into her 401k. She didn't intend to stop work entirely, but was looking forward to finding some kind of job with passion and joy. Yeah. But her golden years, uh, 85, and she doesn't think she can leave yet, quite yet. She only she has a daughter who's 14, and she's a breadwinner of the family while her husband focuses on the child rearing. But he retired uh, at the, it reached the age of 90, and he has a pension too. I think I saw that in here someplace. But then the 401k dropped, and that brought a tear to her eye. Again, I think he had a pension there too because he reached the age of 90. So the golden years of 90, which, which indicates he has a pension. Two pensions. Both paying in Social Security. They got 401ks and put 10% away till she was freaking however old. But she's a breadwinner, so she's got to take care of her 14-year-old daughter. I mean, okay, I got no qualm with that. But how old was she? She was 55 or something like that. 54. I mean, I'm just sitting there thinking, again, I guarantee they got debt. Uh, yeah, she's going to stay at this place until her uh, daughter, because the 401k fell, you're going to stay at your place until the daughter graduates from high school and helping her through college if possible yeah i wonder if she's sending her kid to a private school i don't know but uh, my inclination is probably uh i don't want to be that person who has to shop at my store and buy nothing but really high carb foods or day old stuff it's just really sad okay uh these people feel a bit of anxiety uh she's worried she didn't save enough before calling it quits on her career i i have savings a great pension and i started saving too late again a great pension savings i don't know what she did for her career unless she was a teacher she'll also have social security um with inflation the cost of living weighing on her mind she has had to remind herself that she worked with a financial advisor and needs to trust his judgment oh, i guarantee he has her spending on an increasing basis uh, I think I could probably consult. I could probably work part time and help young people achieve their potential. I'm just trying to uh, get acclimated to retirement. All right. Anyway, so there you go. It, the whole thing is just freaking silly. Do any of these people actually? Um, I, I mean, look. If if you have debt, as far as the eye can see, that's on you. I got no sympathy, man. You're gonna have to pay that debt off if that makes sense before you retire, or you're just gonna have to keep working. I don't know. But the black guy with you know pension, health care, social security. He's got his boat. I just, how are you not being able to do that? Well, because inflation. And then, you know, the increasing cost of living, the linear rate of, the linear uh, cost of consumption that we've talked about a million times on this channel. I just, and yet, if you actually look at people who are in retirement, it's just, it's, that's what ticks me off about these surveys. The pre-retirees are scared crapless right here. Uh, I think we saw... Uh, hold on a second, let me find it. Of the, the retirees, young as 50, who are not working, 75, I think 73% said they don't think they're going to need to go back to work. Of the retirees who are not working, of the retirees who are working, is only 8% of the population. And even then, only 55% are working for financial needs. 45% of that population isn't working for financial needs. They're working to do something different. They downsize their career. <laughs> so freaking stupid, man. But yet, then we're, so that's the retirees, the people actually doing it. The vast majority are doing just fine. And again, as we've talked about a million, it's always about 80% or so who are doing just fine. Every single survey, it's the same thing, about 80%. Then we come here. About half of not, well, 57% of all non-retirees, age 50 plus, your old buddy Josh, 
um, expect to work in retirement for financial reasons. Among non-retirees who are currently working, that's me, 63% say they think they'll need to work in retirement for, not, for financial reasons. Among non-retirees who are currently not working, 40% think they will have to for financial reasons. So you see the, the discrepancy there? 80% of current retirees are doing just fine. Two-thirds of people my age who are currently working I think they're going to have to continue to work in retirement, even though there's no evidence of that at all. None. There is none. Not for as many people are fearful of it. Ah, it's just so frustrating, man. Crazy. It, it, I, again, I wish I could under. I wish I don't really wish I was a fly in the wall. Could hear these clowns because that made me. Uh, I don't want to. It's kind of like when C.S. Lewis wrote the Screw Tape Letters. He said that was the hardest book he ever had to write because he had to do it from the the premise of the uh, the devil. I said I it just it creeped him out. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, show me a poll. One poll out there of retirees that aren't happy in retirement. And again, I'm talking the vast majority. Show me the poll. I'd love to see it. All right, we'll see you.